all right so I was cutting these out and I noticed this one it didn't really get all of them is uh, cut as I wanted it so I thought I'd show you what I do make sure there's no pieces in there I just ah. all right you see how that's all cut but it's, some of it didn't go all the way through because I had it too close to the edge so I just line it all back up and I run it through again I know it's shaky, but it's just the way I have my setup for, for this right now. And I think it's easier is I keep it I keep it on together like this. Just go like this and break off as much as I can. It's just easier. I think it's easier having it still in the middle thing. finish taking all of those out it's a really long process but to me I just I enjoy doing this and I like how it looks when I'm done so it's worth it I think it's worth it it's a great gift the one I already have made I'm giving to my cousin love you Carol And this is the same process I used not only on the box that I made her, which I've already showed you, with this. I did the same process with this photo album I made for her. And I also made her a journal book so she can write things. And this, I'll show you, I'll give you the link. This was through a tutorial with um, Genevieve Designs. She's amazing. So, I already cut out more of these. As you can see. And the way you do these, I think it's easy to do it. Sometimes you can do it with, with it still being in the metal piece. It makes it kind of easier to get all the detailed holes and things and sometimes I make my die cuts using my silhouette cameo that's what I like a lot of the butterflies I do I use that I love these I love the steampunk stuff I'm telling you and I found my the clock I'm gonna use Tim Holtz of course alterations um, weathered clock number six five seven one nine zero and I will put it in the description box I'll go ahead and cut this with you so you don't need anything but these cutting plates and remember you want the texture on that side so don't make the mistake I made earlier and you just run it through There it is. I'm going to cut a couple of these out because I haven't decided exactly how many clocks I'm going to use because if you see on this one, I wrap it around 
corners and things. See how that's wrapped around? This time I'm using everything cereal box. I think that one I use a lot of the, um, I use the cereal box. But I think I did the die cuts with just random things I had left over from other projects. And those were used with that heavy duty 600 and, or wait, 110 pound um, cover stock or card stock. So it comes with this, these little hands. So I'm going to continue getting all my pieces together and I just stabbed myself. Thank God it didn't hurt me. And I will be back. I'm also going to be cutting out a couple of these butterflies. This is Sizzix 658300 Butterfly. And I'm also going to do, I don't know if you can see it, but the, I might put this on here. I haven't decided, but it's more um, cogs and things. And that one is Tim Holtz Alteration Steampunk. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll be back. Alright, here's another part for the box. I'm going to explain how I did this because I already did this one side. So what I did, and I'm not going to give you exact measurements because this is just a way for you to make your any, any size box you want. What I did I knew that this is going to be the lid, so I measured out how wide or whatever length of the box outside would be. Mine happened to be 7 inches. So I measured 7 inches on the box top part, and then I added a quarter inch because I want to have an um, overhang. So, I cut it that way. I'm going to do that on this side with you. It's a lot of layers, but... I just turn it over and you can see where... is. I hope my head doesn't get in the way. It probably will. I think that's pretty pretty good. Alright. Then so remember this is the top. This is the bottom. This is the whole back. So it's gonna be closing like that. So I measured in whatever length this was. I just went from on here a quarter inch in and I had to cut it out with regular scissors because it's not going to fit in that thing. So what I did, I cut it right here see like where the lid's gonna be I put it underneath the bottom part of it not here but I cut right here just to that line quarter inch in I did it down here too this just makes it easier to cut out Then what I did, because I need to make the sides, you know your box is going to close like that, so you need, so 
something here, something here, something there. So what I did, remember those pieces that we cut and put together, like three layers? I took that and I made this one side. This is going to be the side one. You'll need one for the front, which is this right here. So I'm going to, I will be cutting that. And this is what I did first. So those three other pieces that I had made. See how it's like kind of uneven, whatever. I went ahead and, and got it all to be one size. out of the way. Alright, so how I made this piece that's going to go here, I took one of those pieces and I put it where the fold is. So you know you don't have to worry about measuring. I'm really, I suck at measuring. So I did that. That's how it's going to go across that way. I'll cut that. So it matches up this way. And now I want it to match up this way too. Easy way to do it. To go, you could do this for the second the second time, but since I didn't show you how I did this, I will show you. So we know this is going to fit here. So we got to make it match right here for the back. So the way I do it, I go like this. Make sure I did it right. Yep. So then you cut it. So that's how I had made this one piece. And I'm going to do this with you for the front part. I already measured. I took one of the side ones that I had already made. And I just lined it up and I cut it the way it needed to be cut. Now I just need to figure out how long. So I am going to say... Line it up here, and I'm going to cut it there. So, yep, it's going to fit pretty good. It doesn't matter about that because we're going to cover that up with paper. All right, so I have this done. This and this, and I'm going to show you how to attach them. Remember all of those pieces that we had left over from the flaps and everything? I just take one of those and I made, I had to make four of these. So the way I did it is I took one of those extra paste, pieces of, of cardboard and I cut it to the same height. Let me use not that long one because we're doing the side ones. 
So I made it this way, the same. And then I cut, so I made it like this. And then I cut it at one inch like that. See how that is saying? And then I took my scoreboard. And a half an inch alone. I'm going to do this one too. You're going to need, I think, four. I'll show you where they're going to go. So you just do that. Then you take scissors and you cut it like this. You'll understand why in a minute. Go ahead and do this one. make one this length too. Alright, so I'm going to do this one too. So I made those little ones. Now you have to make one this long. So I think this one's already cut to a one inch. Oh, yeah, just happen to have it. So I measure it like this. The, where the thing's going to meet there. Oh, you can't see. I measured from here to here. And I put a line there. And I'm going to cut it. what it was. Alright, so I scored it. Folding it and burnishing it. And I'm going to cut this like that. <clears throat> and then took some score pal tape. It's double sided tape and it's really strong. I think I know what fell. Oh, yeah, it's that glue that I need. Uh oh, I'm running out of score. Oh, that stinks. I'm gonna have to use the big one. It's bigger than what I need, but oh well, that'll work. I don't put it on the score line. It's pretty close to it. Where's my awesome little glue stick? There it is. Alright, so then what I did, because I'm trying to put on... Which one? Which one? This one. 
here's the top. Here's the bottom of the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back over here. I just use regular repositional glue stick. It gives you some room to move it around the way I do it. I line it up. Wait. See if I didn't have that glue on there. I wouldn't have been able to do this. All right. Oh, there it is. All right, so lid, bottom. This is going to go on here. We'll put the ugly side on the inside. All right, let me figure out how I did this. If I remember it right. You see how it did that? That's how it do it. Yeah. Give that a minute to get together. And now for this side. Remember, this is the top. It's the bottom. wait for it to set. Very interesting. Alright, so we're on the outside of the box, top and the bottom. And this is going to be the front part of the box. This is like the spine. And I want the ugly side on the inside. See how we're going to have that lined up? I need to get where is those long pieces that I just cut out. Oh, 
already had this one cut out. You saw how I did that other ones. Score tape. We know it's going to be like. Whoops. Yeah. 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 Because this is the outside. Oh, shoot. Oh, so yeah, we're on the inside of the box. I don't know why I was saying I was on the outside. This is the inside. This is the top. This is the bottom. This is going to go like that. So I'm going to flip it around and it's going to become the outside of the box. Like that. And this piece is going to go right here. We're going to take this score tape off. Alright, you see how right there that it's really going to overlap? It's not really going to matter much, but I don't like how it's doing that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a little bit more off right here so it's not going to overlap so much on the bottom ones. I don't think it would do anything, but... bit more so right now we're at the bottom of the outside of the box oh, the puppies are howling My table's falling apart. This is the outside. Now we're on the inside. I want the ugly side to be on the inside. Whoops. That came wrong way. This is awkward doing this with the camera. Super awkward. It's all shaky. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Stay. is over here now. With these pieces are going to be, I think I got an extra one. We'll put that over there. So you remember how I, I measured, this is the top 
this is the bottom, here's the side. I measured from here to here to make these. These puppies are going crazy out there. They're plug my phone in or it's gonna run out of battery. There we go. is the inside, top, bottom. This is still not set. Top, bottom, outside. Stick down. Top, bottom, we're on the inside again. Have to do it this way. Just lining them up. We're going to do one side first. You can use your this just in case. I mean, you don't really have to. So when I say that, and then you figure out. Uh, I really should have. Because once it sticks, I mean, you're, you're not going to get it apart. Supposedly. I don't know why this isn't sticking over here. It's so weird. Very strange. Never had that happen. We'll fix it in a minute. So I'm just lining it up. I think it got set long enough. Must not have been. Very strange. Tell me, you run into problems randomly, but you gotta figure out how to fix it. And I'll tell you how I'm gonna fix this. Thing I had dropped over here. Is some awesome Fabric Tech glue. This stuff is amazing. Let's see how much have I got enough in here. Is there enough? Might not be. I got another one right here. This stuff is amazing. It's my favorite glue. I don't have to cut it. I always think I have to cut it for some reason, but you don't. You just have to take the inside thing out. Come on now. I usually have nails. There we go. 
I guess I do have to cut it. Sometimes I don't. Hmm. Sometimes you don't have to. All right, so I'm going to fix this part right here that's sticking it up for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just going to put some of this glue in here. Maybe. Hmm. Didn't cut it enough. There it goes. This stuff dries quickly, so. lie to you I actually did the other box that I was showing you a whole different way all right so for the next part of the box project I'm gonna cover the this part and that part that part that part and yeah probably that part too so I just took a cereal box Cut off all the flaps and now I'm going to just pencil in what I want cut because I don't like measuring. I really do not like it. My allergies are just killing me. Puppies barking. Got my cats in here. Not cats, a cat. I feel like I have a pet farm or something. It doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be pretty close. All right, so I'm going to do that all the way around, and then I'll be back. All right, I got all the pieces cut out, and now I'm just going to put them on here. This is the bottom of the box. I'm just going to use fabric tack. This is super strong, super strong. I'm gonna make 
make sure it's really done up good here. I'm going to put some glue in here. Smishing it down good. Anyways. This is a mad strong box. And when we get done decorating it, we won't be able to tell that it's cereal boxes. Yeah, I'll put a little bit more glue in here. I think the puppies got in trouble. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a paintbrush and put gesso all over it. And this is a gesso I use. I just get Walmart creep, um, cheap stuff. Creep. That's it. And I'm sure you know how to. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't have to be all super neat. It could be all in different directions because you're going to be. Put, we're going to put texture on here, which I'll show you how to do. Bye.